Good morning and welcome to another weekly stargazing section with GSC at Home. My name is Andrew, I'm one of the astronomers in the Planetarium at Glasgow Science Centre and today let's talk about Leo. Leo is a wonderful spring and summertime constellation and something you can see from this city sky right now. As you may have already guessed, Leo is a lion, and in Greek mythology it is the Nemean lion. This was a fearsome beast that couldn't be damaged by steel, bronze or rock, and one of the twelve trials of Hercules. If you're wondering how that trial went, Hercules now has a very durable fur coat. But how do you find it in that nighttime sky? To find Leo will be fairly straightforward. First of all, we need to look for the Plough, or the Big Dipper, one of the most recognisable patterns in our nighttime sky. And if you number the seven stars of the plough, starting from the handle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we take the fourth and fifth star, Merges and Fector. From there, we draw a line from the south through those fourth and fifth stars to the next brightest star, which will be Regulus, the heart of the lion Leo. From there, you'll find a backward question mark, which makes up the sickle of Leo, and then you'll find a triangle just behind that question mark, which makes up the hip and the tail of the lion Leo. In fact, the very eastern star of the lion Leo is called Denebola, which means the tail of the lion. And there you have it, you have found the constellation of Leo the lion. Now you may have heard of Leo before as a star sign, and star signs are a little bit of astrology. For astronomers, Leo is important for a different reason. It sits in the area of the sky we call the ecliptic, and the ecliptic simply means this is the path that the moon, the sun, and the planets take across our sky. So when you go planet hunting, this is the area of the sky you want to be looking for. It is planetless right now, but do go have a look at it while it's still in our spring and summer sky. Thank you very much everyone, I hope you enjoyed this week's stargazing, and we'll see you another day for another GSE at home at 10am. Goodbye.